I guess Lavender makes Christina looks, look really good. So we get the pushback. Yeah. Okay. I guess this Cardinal just procs every turn. That's fine. So we do this. Um, I guess we could do this. Nice. Defense break. So we have five stacks. We have five stacks. Let's see how much damage this does. Boom. Okay, we got the crit. 50, 50, 50, 38. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today I have an interesting unit and you see right here, it is the Lavender. I was happy, I guess, when I pulled her in the last summoning session. I believe my friend and I both pulled this unit and initially I had no clue if this unit was good. I know it is the dark espresso cookie, right, in the cookie run kingdom form and I had no clue what it did. But I was a little hyped. I was hoping that she was useful somewhere. And then I started seeing this here. And you can see there are comments saying that by far the worst unit in Summoner's War, designed as trash Hoa unit. People are thinking that she's gonna be a Hoa unit later. Uh, basically she's crap. And I mean, there is an opinion here saying that this hero is actually meta. It doesn't look like much, much is positive. And there's a petition to change all the cookies to bunnies. I do think that the bunny form is much better. People are saying it needs a rework. It's kind of funny because most of these people, I can't even click on their name. But I want to give this unit a chance because it had two AOE skills essentially. And the skill two pushes back their attack bar and it could give, it could stun them. And skill three does some kind of damage. I don't know. I think it was pretty interesting. I was hoping that in a second turn team, maybe because everybody's going to be so slow, the skill two can connect to skill three quickly. So we're going to test that out today. I gave her pretty nice runes. Well, this is the best for my account, at least with uh, the 100k EHP with the 100 crit rate and also with some decent accuracy. I also have a good amount of accuracy with the artifacts. You can see 19%, so that's 70% accuracy. We are getting 18% attack up effect, more damage, more damage, more damage. So let's see what this unit can do. I hope that she's actually better than expected. I mean, just because it doesn't work in a second turn team doesn't mean it's a bad unit, but knowing the comments about her are all pretty negative i want to see at least if we could find her a place in a second turn arena offense team so without further ado let's get right into this video so currently i am sitting on c2 the rank has reset a few days ago i have gotten g1 the past week i tested out a new defense it didn't work that well as you can see the defense rate was only 24 percent um and the victory rate is also pretty low but that was because i was testing out different offenses as you guys have seen in my past videos and it looks like we could hit this one right here i do believe i have yeah this team and we'll just switch out the bail with this lavender we can't use her skill I mean, her leader skill because she doesn't have one. We'll just take the Leo. Uh, the one downfall for taking Leo in this setup is that his accuracy is really low. 8% plus 6%. So that's only 14%. But we have a fight set here. We have two fight sets. Oh, we have one fight set on the Galleon. Hmm, I should fix that. But we have one fight set on the Galleon. So two fight sets. And everything else is pretty much the same on how I build second turn teams for everybody else. So let's see how this does. We have to get the pushback on whatever stunner or booster they have. And this one is the Triton. So let's get the pushback. We got the pushback, thank God. Oh, got the strip. So please, nice. It derped. Let's see the damage. I'll put the Oblivion on the math. Oh, double resist. That hurts. Let's go to skill two. So this should hit three times and reduce their attack bar by 20% each. Uh, and stun them with a 30% chance. We have, a pr we have pretty good accuracy. Whoa, is that 2,000? That's really weak. 3,000, 6,000. Wow, that's a lot weaker than I expected. And we did push a little, not too much though. Slow here, nope. Uh, defense break, nope. Okay, don't proc. Okay, let's see how hard skill three hits. 
6,000 each hit. That's actually so weak. That's actually so weak. Did I do something wrong? The runes are not bad, guys. Okay, the runes are not bad. But that is a lot weaker than I expected. And I don't think we got one... One... Stun. Or did we? Okay, let's go into the next one. That was... Really, really depressing. <laughs> that was really, really depressing. Let's try something else. Okay, another one right here. Let's go right in. I gave her runes, right? I gave her runes. Oh, she has will. I still have to tap her. Oh, speed tuning is weird. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, yeah. So we wake everybody up. Get the oblivion. Nice. Defense break. Nice. Okay, skill two. Just come on. Skill two on the Samath. 5k. Wow, that's so weak. I am missing 10% because I am missing a skill up for the damage on skill two. But even with that, that's really low. But it looks like it's hitting it four times, not three times. I thought it was three times, but it's hitting it for four times. So that's good. So it looks like it's a clean cleanup there. So 20k. 20k. So it is four times. It attacks three times to reduce their attack bar. And then it attacks them once more to stun them. So it is four hits. So it is technically 20k. 5k per hit. And this is three hits per hit. Let's go to a more tankier team. Um, I don't know how well this will work because it is with the prahog if i do have the window i'll try to get the uh reset on their praha so she doesn't use the heal i have to go for the pushback here she resisted so we're in trouble actually we're we're good we're good nobody should be yet yeah, going oh wait i should have went for skill two okay this is bad because i did not reset their praha can we get a pushback their full resistance we got the res okay we got the good pushback that's good okay we killed perna it's not bad and look there's no attack bar it, so if we kill the praha here it's gonna come back that was stupid oh but we get to reset oh that was good that was good and well it looks like lavender is not really taking a turn even when we pushed everybody's attack bar back but we get to clean up with this yeah that's good i mean it's not bad it's two AoE hits, so it does clean up. In the end, it's 20k with another 9k per hit each for three times. 27k, so 47k, 45 to 50k damage. But there's no guarantee you'll be connecting your skill 2 to skill 3 because if you can't kill them with one turn, first of all, the battle is prolonged. And second of all, they could have a window to kill one of your units and then it could be obviously having it from there. Now let's go on to this one. Um, at least she's tanky and no one is going for her because all these elements have a counterpart here that they could go for. Let's get the pushback. Well, not, I mean, sorry. Let's just get the tap so they don't, she doesn't use skill three. Okay, that's good. That's good as well. Yes. Okay. We're good. We're good. Good thing we gave her way over 100k EHP. I'm going to get the oblivion here. And then let's see how well it does against a much much higher level team because you can see there's guardian wings here right let's get some stuns okay we got one stun this time i think this is the first time we saw a stun um the stun rate is pretty bad because it's only 30 percent and again i don't i'm missing actually i'm missing two skill ups on skill two so i'm missing another 10 percent on the harmful effect so it's not 50 percent exactly how about this one I am kind of scared about this on Gilki, but we're not going to be stunning. Oh, we are going to be stunning. Yeah, we're going to be stunning. So maybe we should just use skill three right away. I mean, if we could survive the burst damage. Triton is probably on will here. No, I'm getting all of these wrong. Okay, so this shouldn't kill, right? 100k HP. Yeah, not too strong. Or unless we get the Oblivion. Oh no, wait, what am I just talking about? So I'm just going to do this. So just we could just kill him, I guess. Yeah. Let's see how much damage here. 8k. 8k per hit. We only killed the Ongyoki, so he comes back with attack buff. Now that is bad. Um, Let's hope that we could push him back or kill. Oh, we killed. Okay. That's all good. Never mind. 
Very squishy. We still have skill two. So defense break. Oh, we, there's already defense break, but we use this. Not a lot of damage, but the multiplayer is really, really low. And the stun chance is way too low. How about we try this one here? We hit the Leo May. Oh, this is a this is a guardian player. Okay, okay. Oh, she got the strip right away. But good thing it didn't push back too much. Let's do this. Get some stuns. Oh, we got one. Cool. We, we killed the Liu Mei. Oh, wait. No, she's coming back. Okay. You got a proc. Don't proc. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a damage Liu Mei. Oh, we didn't get the Oblivion. That's huge. Oh, my goodness. Calm down. Yeah, we sure don't have enough damage. Oh my goodness. They're pro Oh my goodness, they're proccing too many times. Oh man, that's bad. Okay, let's go into that same thing, but let's take in the Christina, okay? Let's just take in the Christina. Yeah, let's just take in this and see the difference. I guess Lavender makes Christina looks look really good. So we get the pushback. Yeah. Okay. I guess this Cardinal just procs every turn. That's fine. So we do this. Um, I guess we could do this. Nice. Defense break. So we have five stacks. We have five stacks. Let's see how much damage this does. Boom. Okay, we got the crit. 50, 50, 50, 38. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess there's no reason to really use the Lavender. I mean, first of all, the pushback is not even that good, even with 70% accuracy, because the chance is only 30%. So in theory, you're technically technically getting only one pushback. That's only 20%. So you're not connecting skill two to skill three, which is something that I was hoping for, but it just didn't happen. It just doesn't happen. So. I guess, yeah, just don't go for it, guys. I don't think it's worth. I don't think it's worth. Um, just go for a better damage dealer. I guess second turn AO is not the way for Lavender. Yep, I mean, like the setup, not everything is good. Like, I was hoping that this does something. I got, they got double stun there, so that was really good, actually. So double stun there is really good. But the chance is just way too low. It sometimes happens and sometimes doesn't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's that great. But we did win most of our battles against those second turn teams. So even though it's mediocre, it still does kind of work if you want to force it. But I guess it is safe to say that she is not a good unit for a second turn AO. Maybe people were right on, on wanting a buff somehow, right? Yeah, I think it needs to change. <laughs> but that was it guys hope you guys enjoyed it if there's anything else that you guys would like to see in summons war please put a comment below if you guys watched till now please like and subscribe also if you guys want to support my work please join my patreon which the link is in the descriptions below but that was it and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye